I'm thankful to have Dolce to get me across this ocean. This boat is actually handling really well. I haven't had too many issues with her. But yeah, I don't know, I had a pretty good sleep last night. I got up at one point and I swear there was ash falling out of the sky. I think I got some in my eye, which is made me, what made me realize there was actually something and not just like the fogginess of my eyes or the spray of water falling coming through the sky. It was actually, because it felt dry and it actually like got me on my eye. And then I saw some fall and I felt it like in my mouth and stuff. Yeah, if it wasn't ash, I don't know what, what it might be. Some pollinating tree of some sort. Actually, that's very much what it could have been some seed of some tree that got sucked up into the atmosphere and flew its way over here. I'll go with that. It, it did actually feel more like like a tree seed of some sort. Like if, just like a, you know one of those like feathery things. I don't know. Maybe it was some cottonwood or something. Oh, just saw a uh, flying fish jump right out the window there. Um, oh, and the other day I saw two dolphins from a distance. It was this like pretty amazing sort of sensation where I was looking and I had a thought that there was something something with me and that there's probably a lot more animals around me than I ever know because the waves have been so rough and like at that moment I looked and it was probably I probably looked about 500 meters away and saw two dolphins of course I yelled at them I was like hey come over say hello and then, yeah, nothing happened it's, it's loud. When a wave hits this boat, it's like, boom, boom. And like the whole boat just like, boom. I don't know, it moves like a whole meter as you get hit. I woke up to, boom. I climbed up. I've, I've managed to figure a way to just like hop over the, the boards without even pulling them up. Uh, so I did that, climbed out, and realized that the, the wind vane was sort of just doing this and the rudder wasn't reacting to the vane, which means that the steering rudder that comes down off the vane has come loose. So what I have to do is I basically have to climb to the back stern of the boat, hang half my body off the boat, and click it back in place. 1150 miles to go. Similar conditions with this uh, downwind 20 to 25 knots. So not quite directly on a run straight down the was a little bit at an angle. And I ended up starting to get like a lot of waves crashing over the boat, um, which just doesn't, doesn't make me sleep well. This is that sort of the wind had changed, but the waves hadn't changed direction. So that was creating this sloppy conditions for me, although it's super sloppy all the time. And I didn't want to put up the whisker pole in the middle of the night in the pretty like sort of squally condition So I just went straight with the main and it actually worked pretty well. I actually didn't have to touch it I, I went to sleep three. I was out cold didn't wake up even for the sunrise unfortunately Just had some oats Woo! And see how much I guess you guys can't probably see too much how much of oats a lot of water that came in there. I'd say I'm pretty lucky that not more water came inside here. You know, like some people might think you want to keep this hatch closed at all times, but if I did that, this place would just be just as wet with all my sweat.
I can get you some water. You yeah, want water? Let me get you some water, okay? You can stick around. Right then, it's day 11. <sighs> Still rolling on through the ocean here now. This morning I woke up and the sails were flogging. There was basically almost zero wind, about three knots of wind. So I climbed out on deck, I furled in the jib, and I was about to take down the main when it just started dumping like crazy. And then the wind picked up. And uh, that actually made the motion of the boat quite more smooth. And then it picked up quite strong, actually, up to like 20 knots, which was uh, exciting for a bit there, for sure. Like, that was how I woke up in the morning and saw the sun sort of rise out of the sky. I mean, it was cloudy, so you could, I just saw it get lighter. I uh, lost the wind there for a bit. Haven't been in the water yet since I started. I sort of feel like I've been missing something down there. I'm pretty stoked to finally get in there. I'm gonna go and uh, maybe maybe there's some scrubbing that needs to be done actually so should get some tools out here quickly. go for a little swim maybe maybe there's some life under there maybe I've got a little fishy with me or something That was not uh, nearly as pleasant as I had hoped. Okay. Well, that was not uh, as relaxing as I had hoped. The boat was uh, indeed making forward progress. 
I thought it would be a little bit, but uh, it was uh, it was more than I was expecting. I was sort of getting dragged when I held on to the boat. Boat looks good under there, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. All is good. I'm going to uh, lift the sails because there's a bit of a breeze now. Get moving. Get myself to the Marshall Islands. Beautiful evening here on Dolce. Got some uh, spaghetti cooking. Some tomato basil pasta sauce. Probably the calmest night so far of the journey. This is the night of the 11th day.